I think, of course, multi-stakeholderism is the battle cry of the era. Um, and I think that needs to be taken a little bit more seriously, particularly with countries in the global south, because, the again, the problem is that even though we participate in certain processes, practical policy is still made in Western Europe or in somewhere in Silicon Valley or in New York or among the Wall Street oligarchs, right? So at the end of the day, what happens is trickle-down effects impact us quite heavily and we are not part of that initial conversation. And I think the way to have better collaboration and to have more robust collaboration and to make the whole world a little bit safer for everyone is to really have all parties at the table, as difficult as that is, to hash out stuff, as again as difficult as, as that is, and to commit to an international set of standards that everyone can agree on, like, for example, the Geneva Convention. And there are various efforts on the play that try to that acknowledge just there are cultural differences and there are nuances that need to be taken on a case-by-case -case basis, but here is law that 80% of us can agree on, and this is a good thing because it protects the rights of so and so and so on, and we, need, we badly need that thinking, and we need that thinking coming from the Global South as well, because otherwise we are too pushed around by Global North conversations and norms.